Back to our top story this morning. Body image activist and documentary director Taryn Brumfit has been named Australian of the Year. She leads the Body Image Movement, an organisation that's teaching people to love and appreciate their bodies. And she joins me now. First of all, Taryn, congratulations, Australian of the Year. Wow, uh, a well-deserved title, but how does that sound that when it accompanies your name? <laughs> well, you got my name wrong. It's Taryn, not Taryn. No, Taryn, <laughs> but... for poly, my, my humble apologies there. Taryn Brumford, Australian of the Year. How does, how does that marriage sound? Hey, that sounds pretty good to me. Look, I'm <laughs> so excited to have this opportunity to talk about a subject that's so important. Um, we need to get it right for our kids and for everybody across Australia. Um, I'm still on cloud, cloud nine this morning. Well, you're, you've already um, got in the ear of the Prime Minister. What'd you tell him? Well, we've done a really good job uh, from the ground up. We've reached over 200 million people globally. Um, our focus this year is to get the curriculum aligned resources into schools. Uh, we made a film called Embrace Kids. We're making it available to every Australian school across the country. And we have really a dynamic, exciting, evidence-based, creative resources. And we've got them for free as well. So um, I've hustled pretty hard for 10 years to put body image on the map um, we've done really well from the ground up and we'd love to come from the top down yeah I mean I've, I've got a couple of young kids and and you know they're uh, they're a way off being teenagers but I was talking about this with my wife the other night because I mean it's it's so often said that young women teenagers have issues with their body they're very body conscious uh, because of what's going on on social media but but men do too and in particular boys you know and it's driven by social media as well I mean how how deep-rooted are those problems when it comes to boys as well as girls? Um, unfortunately, this is a problem for, for everybody. 70% yeah. of Australian school children consider body image to be their number one concern. Um, we also know now that um, adolescents who experience body dissatisfaction are 24 times more likely to be depressed and suffer from anxiety. Um, so we need to really get this issue right. Um, for boys, um, it's alarming that the use of steroid use is, is on the rise. We know what to do. We know how to solve this issue. And we've just got to get back to basics. We're not meant to spend our, our, our lives at war with our body. And we've got to teach our kids to move and nourish and respect and enjoy mm. their bodies. How do you do that, though? Because, I mean, the kids are looking at social media, right? And they're seeing these, these, these pictures that often don't look like the person in real life. But they think, well, I want to look like that and then go and do whatever they can to look like that. So how do you change that mindset? Look, social media is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. So we just need to learn to live with it and we need to teach our kids how to use it effectively. We know that when kids look at appearance-based images, even on Instagram for as little as seven minutes, um, it can have a, a negative impact on their body image. We know that when they look at um, inspiring role models, people that are doing cat videos, dog videos, um, anything other than bodies, that's not dangerous for our kids. So it's about educating everybody mm. about how to use social media. I have to say in the Embrace Kids uh, film, Electric Fields, uh, Michael Ross from Electric Fields talks about, you know, get off your screens and go and actually do in life. Have adventures with your body, not just on your screens. I think we need to start in Australia by watching this film. It's mm. been made by experts, creatives and... Um, and it's got electric fields in it, whom I love. Um, it's an important film. Celeste Barber's in it. Amy Shepard. Uh, we need to we need to educate our kids and and get them to use social media more effectively than they so, are. So I mean, social media, and, and and I think it's poisonous to a lot of young minds as well for that reason too. And and, and I have great concerns. I'm I'm a bit older, so I can I can appreciate that it's just a thing that you do on the side. But the kids obviously take that more seriously. So what advice would you give to them? to be able to, to, to teach a young mind to look after their vessel before anything else. 
Yeah, that's right. And I'm glad you said vessel because that's what I teach kids and everybody, that your body is not an ornament in life. It's the vehicle to your dreams. You're here to do. You're here to have adventures. These bodies of ours allow us to do so much. So it's about inspiring and empowering everyone to know that they've got 28,000 days on the planet if they're lucky. It's not yeah. a lot of time. What are you going to do with your life? Get off your screens. Get into life. Have adventures. Enjoy your body. Love that. Uh, great words. Great advice. Taryn Brumfit, uh, Australian of the Year. Congratulations once more. Appreciate your time.